All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We are back with another video, and this time it's uh, new music uh, to spotlight to Rick Wakeman's latest album uh, with the English Rock Ensemble. The album is called Red Planet, and uh, just out this year, uh, 2020 release, and uh, this, uh, as you can see, is the uh, CD edition. I did order the vinyl edition. It has yet to arrive, so we'll take a look at the uh, CD copy of it. Uh, this is the wide release that's on Madfish. Uh, this was also available on Rick Wakeman's website as a sort of a special edition release where uh, the CD had sort of, when you opened it up, it was a cardboard uh, case, but it opened it up and then it was kind of like a pop out that comes out of it. So very much like Jethro Tull's stand up. Uh, that's not available on this one, on this uh, wider release. This is, as you can see, is the pretty standard jewel case with the booklet inside. Now, I was going to do one of those kind of sealed to revealed things, but uh, when I started the video and took the uh, shrink off, there was quite the crack. Uh, in the case, in the upper case here. Now I have a number of uh, extra CD cases so I was able to replace uh, just the cover, uh, if you will. It was just, a, of course, a nice crack right up at the top, which is really the downside of jewel cases, how they often develop cracks you know, along the top or right on the cover sort of thing. So I was able to replace that, so it's okay. I did keep the uh, hype sticker and had a chance to listen to this again. I had previewed it um, uh, on streaming services online, and this is a terrific, terrific album. Of course, Rick Wigman, formerly The Strobs, and yes, and a great uh, solo career as well. This is really proggy, uh, very keyboard-driven, and uh, it really harkens back to uh, Rick Wakeman of the 70s or the classic Rick Wakeman sound. This has been getting very good reviews, and I would have to agree. I know, obviously, there's not a lot of, of prog rock released in 2020, but if so, I think this is one of the best albums of the year in terms of the prog rock or the proggy uh, genre. So this, uh, of course, is called The Red Planet. Uh, Mars is kind of the focus on here. And uh, so we'll open it up like this. And some nice, uh, nice artwork on this. I'll just take the disc out and show you here. Okay. And then we'll take a look at the booklet to inside. And the, the rock ensemble um, features uh, Lee Pomeroy on bass. And uh, his bass playing is really terrific. Now, he's uh, done some work, uh, some live stuff with both uh, Steve Hackett and sort of the reformed Yes with uh, John Anderson. Uh, I really like his bass playing. I haven't heard too much of his studio stuff, but his bass playing on this really stands out. I mean, it's a great band overall. And as, as I mentioned, very keyboard uh, driven. It's worth picking up. It's instrumental, a little bit of choral work, choral vocals, that sort of thing, but uh, really terrific. So this was the hype sticker, and it says, Rick Wakeman, The Red Planet, eight newly composed pieces harking back to Rick's critically acclaimed 70s era, and they quote Rick Wakeman on here saying, this is far and away the best thing I've done for as far back as I can remember. Now, you never know with Rick Wakeman, his tongue may be firmly implanted in cheek. He's got such a wonderful, dry sense of humor. Uh, you can go on YouTube and see some of his, uh, virtually some of his stand-up, uh, if you will, uh, when he's talking in between songs or doing his sort of uh, grumpy old man uh, tour. He is such a funny, funny guy. Quite a dry sense of humor but uh nice artwork uh through this kind of like that that would really look nice on the, on the gatefold i'm hoping that's sort of the gatefold for the vinyl edition as to say i have ordered the vinyl edition but it has not arrived as of yet so i'm not expecting the vinyl edition i think it too had sort of that when you opened up the gatefold it had like a big pop out sort of thing i'm not expecting that on the vinyl for the wider release that was from the rick uh, wakeman website but well worth picking up um really enjoyable absolutely really enjoyable rick wakeman and the red planet and uh, there you go also very similar uh to deep purple's uh release whoosh which almost has a very sort of similar sort of astronaut <laughs> sort of cover uh so there you have that now i'll just show you some of the rick wakeman that i have uh, on cd since i didn't get the vinyl copy of uh, red planet when it arrives i'll show you then uh, the vinyl that i have from rick wakeman uh but in terms of cd i don't have a lot i do have the uh, rick wakeman uh, box set uh, journey to the center of the earth uh recorded in concert royal festival hall London, Friday, January 18th, 1974, with the London Symphony Orchestra, uh, production narrated by David Hemmings. 
Uh, so enjoyable. Uh, this from the Rick Wakeman solo uh, years. I won't open these up because I have shown this in other uh, videos. Uh, I also have, of course, the uh, deluxe version of uh, Rick Wakeman, The Six Wives of Henry VIII, uh, the deluxe edition that includes some bonus material as well as the original album, and uh, the DVD is the, uh, is the DVD or digital audio, uh, quad audio for, for the album with some bonus material as well as uh, BBC uh, TV session. So yeah, really enjoyable, nice. These, these, these deluxe edition CDs are always really good. And I have uh, Rick Wakeman. This is the deluxe uh, edition for No Earthly Connection. And uh, disc uh, two uh, features BBC Live at Hammersmith Odeon 1976, uh, which is quite nice. So there is that. Uh, deluxe edition of uh, Rick Wakeman and the, what is the long title? The Myths and Legends of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. And the uh, deluxe edition. I did prefer when the deluxe edition was a, a sort of a slip case that came off. And then when they started doing this, where it was kind of this stuck on wrap around that you had uh, this perforation here to open it up. And I guess you could take this off if you want. And then um, for the most part, they, they don't even have anything that says deluxe edition, it seems, on some of the newer uh, copies. So I, I prefer the old style slip case for the deluxe edition. But having said that, these are really terrific. They always uh, put lots of extra bonus material on this. And uh, picked up a Rick Wakeman, The Six Lives of Henry VIII, live at Hampton Court Palace. Uh, so this is cool. A complete uh, uh, performance of the album uh, with some of the extra songs that were intended for the uh, album. But of course, with the uh, limitations of uh, vinyl or in terms of how much time you can get on a single vinyl record, uh, these are extra songs uh, included for the uh, performance of it. But uh, live at Hampton Court Palace. That's uh, really cool. So really nice. So uh, yeah, again, uh, really looking forward to uh, more spins of this. This is check this out if you haven't uh, done so. Rick Wakeman and the English rock ensemble, The Red Planet. Really proggy. <laughs> there you go. We will chat again soon. Do take care. Bye bye.